So today I'm not using one particular brand. I'm using Oetrol Easy Flow, which they have graciously given me product to use. And um, this is a company out of Europe. You can only get Easy Flow from Oetrol, from the Oetrol website or on Amazon. But it's great for the people that are not in the United States that are watching this video that they can possibly find it elsewhere. This is my bottle of water. I'm going to use Coconut Milk Hair Anti-Breakage Serum by OGX. It's on the link below my video. Every time I do a video, there's an explanation below the video if you click on Show More. And then it's also going to provide all the links to the products typically that I use or a good percentage of them. And there's an Amazon link that always posts and it will have the paper I use on my table, it will have products, the, the hair dryer I use, the heat gun I use, that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to do a dirty pour. And I would love to be able to create some large cells. So that's what I'm aim aiming for. These are three ounce cups, and so I really only need about two ounces. I'm doing a 16 by 20. This is Deco Art. This is a vintage brass. So I'm going to put about an ounce of paint in there. And this is, yeah, this is brassy, so it's like a deep, it's deeper than gold. I'm going to do equal parts of the Oetrol and the paint. I'm going to finish up some of these tubes of paint hopefully and sometimes I'll mix brands and colors together and that kind of thing. So that's not quite an ounce. I didn't put quite enough of the brass. I'm going to throw in some uh, folk art metallic gold just to uh, make it closer to an ounce. So like I said, this is a mixture of brands and colors and that kind of thing. I basically want kind of a warm hued color range. This is pink. That was just straight out orange. This is pink by Master's Touch. This is the Quinacridone Magenta from Liquitex Basics which is always beautiful and super powerful. It's more of a purpley, purpley violet or purpley red, violet colored red. So, and that's about the end of that tube. So, and I, these, this may not even be a, a real ounce. I'm not sure. I'm, like I said, I'm not measuring. I'm just eyeballing it with these thicker tube paints they don't you know that they don't level out at the bottom of the cups because they're thicker so you have to kind of pound them down a little bit I'm really drawn to red this is yellow oxide by Liquitex Basics not want a lot of that but I do want some this is Unbleached Titanium by Artist Loft. So this is a cream tan color. And then I want one dark color. Instead of black, I'm going to use Burnt Under. That's a Liquitex Basics as well. So I'm going to add, this is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic, which I have not even opened yet. Took it so it was right at the top. Just put a little bit more in there. So now I've got three different brands of metallic in there. But I think, I think that gives me all the colors I want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So, you know, I try to rinse and reuse as much as I can, but not to the point where it were to, you know, I don't want to get a color into another color, so I make sure they're nice and rinsed and dry. They're just stained, basically. I'm going to try to get rid of what's at the end of this jug. So I'm going to do an equal amount of the Oatrol compared to the paint that is in the cup. And I cannot tell you how much it is. I just eyeball it, and I can kind of see through the cup to know that I'm doing an equal amount You also want to give yourself enough room if you need to add water and for stirring. Like I said, I'm doing a 16 by 20 and for that the chart says I need 14 ounces of paint. This one is going to be pretty, pretty much, when I add water to this one, it's going to be up to the top or overflowing because I put uh, quite a bit of gold paint in there. Add a little bit more to this cup. And a little bit more orange because I didn't have quite enough compared to the other cups. I'm going to speed through this process and not talk. And I apologize for the mess on my table. Um, but because I'm doing pour paintings, they're always messier. And this butcher paper is excellent for the drips. I can wipe it off or I can let it dry and it peels up super easy. I can take all these little drips and just peel them right off if I want to. I'm not going to spend the time going around and doing that because all of this is kind of ugly. I took all the pretty drops off of the, the table already so this is what's left of the ugly mess that is just kind of smeared. So in the very end there, I added a drop of the burnt umber to the orange to tone it down. It was just so bright and orangey. And then on the yellow oxide, I added quite a bit of the uh, unbleached titanium to soften the gold down to a, a softer gold color. I didn't want it so harsh. So as I was mixing, I changed my mind on the canvas. I decided I wanted to do two canvases. So I'm going to do a 12 by 12 and a 10 by 20. And the reason I want to do two canvases is I want to use the same colors. One I want to do with the coconut milk to try to get cells. The other I want to not use the coconut milk. And I want to do a puddle pour. So I'm going to do the dirty pour and try to get cells on the 12 by 12. And I'm going to do the puddle pour on the 10 by 20. This is a gallery wrap canvas. Sorry about that sound. But I was thinking if I do one without the 
coconut milk in it. I've got to do it before I add the coconut milk. So I'm putting my push, push pins in. I'll put the 12 by 12 aside. And I'm going to do the puddle pour first. So with the puddle pour, <clears throat> you do not, well, you can put silicone into it, actually, but I'm, I'm, I don't really want the silicone. I don't really want cells, or I don't want the coconut milk in it. I want it to have more of a landscape, just kind of a blended effect while I was using these colors. So that's why I'm going to do this first and then I'm going to do the dirty pour. On the puddle pour, I have some white, this was Liquitex Basics White, mixed with Oetrol. There's no silicone or anything like that in it. I'm going to put down a wet base. So just making sure my edges are covered. So on this one, I'm not going to do a dirty pour in a cup. I'm going to just add the puddles of paint. And I need to save myself. For 12 by 12, it says 5 ounces of paint. I'd probably like probably 8 ounces just to make sure I'm on the safe side. So I've got, these are 3 ounce cups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's 8 cups. There's maybe 24 ounces, maybe 20, 20 to 21 ounces of paint because some of them aren't full. And I probably have way too much orange for what I'm wanting to do. I've not done it in a, in streaks before. I just wanted to try something different that I've not done. So if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm wondering too. <laughs> like I said, I've not I've not done it this way before. So Basically, just want to make sure it covers both ends. And I did kind of want a little bit of the white negative space left. And, you know, I've, I've been an artist for 20 years, and I've kind of been wondering, like, what would happen if I took my paintbrush like the red is really kind of strong. So I'm just skimming. I'm not, I wasn't pressing all the way down to the white because I didn't want to bring the white up. 
but somewhere where these edges are a little bit on the harder side. See, it is, it is kind of taking it to the white, so I'm not sure how that's going to work, but just trying to, to blend some of the, the harder edges. So I'm just kind of tilting back and forth. And I don't know what I'm looking for. I just wanted to play with it. I do like the way the gold kind of gets cloudy over some of the colors. I'm going to try blowing. There's a bug. And I'm softly blowing too. Hard edge of brown. I'm just making sure that flows on either end. And I see some bubbles. Just trying to shift some paint back this direction. I'm trying to get parallel to the canvas and not get my fingers into it, which can be kind of difficult. Okay, I'm going to leave this one. Just trying something different um, before I do a dirty pour. And you probably are saying, you should have left it alone. Because I have different people tell me in all my videos, some like it, the way I finished it, some think I should have left it where it was at an earlier point in the video. So, everybody's going to have different opinions, unfortunately. But I appreciate you telling me how you feel. And I do listen and I try to, you know, appeal to everyone. And not every painting I'm going to do is going to appeal to everyone, obviously. So here is my 12 by 12 canvas. So on these, I'm going to add my coconut milk. I'm not given a full pump because a full pump is quite a bit from this kind of bottle. I did put it in all the colors. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So I'm barely stirring and I'm going to use a little bit of the white which does not have anything in it besides Ovatrol.
So a little bit of that unbleached titanium. A little bit of the brown. Do a little bit of orange there. Do red. And this orangish pink color. It's called pink, but it has an orangey cast to it. Then the quinacridone. Do a little bit of white. Do some gold color. The color, not the metallic. Go back to the brown. Oh, 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 oh. I am clumsy, clumsy, clumsy. Titanium, bleach. I'm going to try to scoop up this red and get it in there. Pinky color, anacrodone, a little bit of gold, the bleached titanium, some metallic gold, a little bit of orange. Finish with the red, I think. Or maybe. I'll do a drizzle of white. And I got I got that quinacridone down in there, which I don't want in my white cup. I like to keep adding paint to that cup. So I think I'll do the quinacridone and metallic gold. So this is just a regular white canvas. I'll go ahead and put a light coat of white. I plan on my paint covering the canvas and going over the edges, but I'll go ahead and coat it with the white. And some people ask why I like the canvas to be number one, just coated with a recent layer of paint so that it's a little bit on the wet side. It just helps your your paints flow a little easier over the surface. I've made a mess, but I'm, I'm going to try not to touch those spots because if those dry the way they are, actually it would be some pretty jewelry possibly from the skins. So we shall see if I mess it all up. Move those paints all the way.
be cool looking inside. I don't know. I don't know if you can see in there. It looks like it's drifting. I think my floor is not level or something. So I'm putting some sticks under. But I'm going to let it sit for a few more minutes. I'm just taking the very edge. And very lightly dragging. So much easier to get big cells on a smaller canvas, that's for sure. corner is really, really ugly. That stretched out a little more of the quinacridone, magenta. I've got this one funky metallic gold area that doesn't have a lot of interest in it. But Kind of break it up a bit. But that wasn't too bad. And actually, you know, I probably could have done with just a pump of the coconut milk and even just a few of the colors and not all of them. I think sometimes that even helps to create larger cells. But I've got larger cells, I've got cells within cells, so. I'm pretty pleased with it. The canvas up to you instead of touching my camera. So there it is. Just a regular dirty pour. I decided I'm going to do a puddle pour with what's left of my paint since I'm kind of at the end of all my colors anyway and I have plenty of colors left. I'm going to take some of this orangey mess over here that's no good and go around my edges. You can always take that into consideration when you're going to base out a canvas with just a wet layer of paint and you have something similar in tones that you're going to be using. You can always just take the spill off that's on the table if you're using the same colors again and utilize your paint again. Messy, messy hands. I found, I try to recycle a lot of my stuff, reuse it over and over. 
I have these little condiment cups that come with the lids and they're in my Amazon recommendation list and they have you know the lids that you can close them when they're done as compared to these plastic cups that are like uh, bathroom cups these rent these plastic ones rinse out really really well these do not so much so I'm just gonna do quick puddle pour Okay, I'm done with this one. So definitely not what I had hoped for or expected. I'm not quite feeling it, but it is what it is. Maybe it's just the color combination I'm not crazy about. I'm not sure. I might should have left the brown out and used white instead of the cream. I don't know. But we'll see how it dries. So there it is. This is another one called Munificent that has, I want to say, two coats of the Liquitex high gloss varnish. And you see how great that looks. I don't mind seeing the texture of the canvas or the paint, but it's not brush stroke. You don't see brush strokes, but that's two coats, and that's all I'm going to put on. This one, which is 18 by 24. So that shows you what, and it also you know, makes that color come back out again. Once it's dry, it kind of looks dull. And when you put the gloss back on it, it makes all those colors pop back out again. So if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And sorry about this dirty mess here. Thanks.